everyone, thank you for watching. Today we're opening up the July The Box by Fashion Stuff. Before we get started, I just wanna take a quick moment and say hi and welcome if you are new here. My name is Kitty. I open subscription boxes every single day here on our channel. So if you love beauty boxes and subscription boxes, I would absolutely love it if you subscribe. That would mean so much to me. We actually have a giveaway ending in a few days, you guys. So if you had not yet entered, I will link that in a thumbnail on the end screen at the end of this video so you can check it out and enter after. So the box is $24.99 for new subscribers. I subscribe before the price change, so I pay $19.99 a month. And there wasn't a box for June. I think I might have gotten the May box slash March box uh, in the beginning of June, but yeah, they paused for June to prepare for July. They're really held back due to the pandemic and everything. They're based out of California, uh, but they are up and running again. And it is raining pretty hard here, just if you guys hear that or can tell. I don't know if it'll be in frame. Uh, yeah, Florida afternoons for you. <laughs> so when I open it up, there is a card right on top. So it talks about how they give back to the 1736 Family Crisis Center, which I think is great. And then on the other side, it lists the items, gives the retail pricing, and it says the total retail value for the July box is $147.50. Normally I do a try on with my beauty boxes, but we won't be doing that today. I'll kind of touch on that later. Uh, and I will be quickly reviewing the items from the last box after the unboxing of July. My cats are hyper. So the first item here is Habit, the ultimate multi-use cream color. I'm getting so many multi-use products. I'm guessing this is like a cheek and lip product. This is in the shade Candy Darling. Our highly pigmented multi-use color is super blendable and incredibly easy to use due to its high concentration of Moringa oil, an amazing antioxidant with moisturizing and anti-aging properties. This is one product you won't want to be without. And that talks about how it has omega-3 and 6 fatty acids, vitamins A, B, and C. Pamper your lips, cheeks, and eyes. Well, eyes too. Let's see. So here is the packaging. The bottom. It's cute. There's a heart. Wow, is this purple? Let's see. Wow, this is a purple shade. <laughs> I know myself, and one, I just never reach for cream products at all, and definitely not any of the multi use products I have recently opened and swatched, and I know I probably won't reach for it. And purple, just I can't imagine using this on my lips or my cheeks. I think this would probably look great on someone with more of a deeper complexion. So I will um, very likely pass this on. But let's read about it. So this is $28. I wonder if we could have gotten a variety of colors, if, like if there's a variation with the box. If you guys got this, let me know if you received, what is it, the Candy Shot or Candy Darling, or if you've received a different shade. Next up, I recognize this product. This is a sponge by Base Blue. I actually used one of their sponges today. It's very dirty, but I can show it to you guys. So this, their packaging is always so cute. It's like in a little diamond shape. And this is their Air Sponge Full Cover. Uh, and this one's supposed to maximize foundation and concealer application. I have both this one and the one that is pink. I prefer the pink one, but they're both good. So this is the same one, again, dirty. And this one I used just like moments ago, so it's a little, uh, well, it's extra dirty and stamped and a little bit larger. So it's super soft. Um, I think their sponges work great. Let me find my other one. Now, what's the one? I have several. Uh, so yeah, this one, the one that's a little bit more firm that we received in this box today is for maximized foundation. So it's for full coverage look. And then the one I used today is more for like a natural look, I guess. I'll have to compare them one day, but yeah. Point being, I have these sponges already and I do like them and I don't mind getting a repeat sponge because you know sponges are only good for like a month or two. Uh, they tend to harbor bacteria, especially after long use. So definitely want to rotate them out after a little while. So this is $8. I think that's a good price for the sponge too. Flawlessly buff and blend out heavy duty makeup formulas like foundations and concealers. Next we have a palette here by The Beauty Crop and this is the Sun Gazing Palette. 
Um, so I'm not gonna lie, I did peek into the box earlier because I wasn't sure if I was gonna try on like normal. Um, and it, I thought this was a repeat item, but I looked back and in a past the box by fashion, so I'm pretty sure this subscription, like 99% sure, we received the Dawn Gazing Palette. So this one is like in the same line, but this is inspired by the shades of the sun. Um, it says it features 12 buttery and highly pigmented shades in three different finishes. Velvety matte, creamy metallic, and long wearing glitter. So it did come well wrapped, or well packaged, and matches the outer packaging. And these are the shades. There is a cover over it. I'm not gonna remove it. I do think these shades are really pretty. So there's a lot of like bronzy gold, um, and there are three pressed glitters. I just never use pressed glitters. Um, so I decided I need to stop like trying every single makeup item I receive if I think it's like a duplicate or if I won't use it and pass it on to a better home. So that's why I did not try this on today. But I do think the shades are really pretty um, and I think this would be great for someone who you know doesn't have as large of a makeup collection as me and I did try the last palette I no longer have it but the dawn gazing palette and I remember liking it but it wasn't like amazing or anything like that uh, and there's no mirror by the way if you're curious so this is $24.50 and it says it's cruelty free and vegan I believe everything in this box is cruelty free which is great since I only introduce cruelty free products into my collection now the next item, now this is something I'm really excited about. We Are Wild, a brand I've never heard about. Their solid block um, mineral sunscreen, I believe. Yeah, it says on here the solid block mineral sunscreen and it's made with active cannabis, it says. So I love sunscreen. I wear it every day like you should too. Um, but I really do enjoy mineral sunscreen. Some people don't because it tends to leave a white cast. So two examples, or really the only two examples of mineral sunscreen is zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Uh, this is cute packaging. So since I'm really fair, I don't really mind a white cast, but I know some people don't like that. And also mineral sunscreens are better for people with really sensitive skin. I've never used a sunscreen with cannabis in it. It's made with a 100% non-nano mineral resurrection plant cannabis sativa. It doesn't say what the SPF is. Oh yeah, it does. This solid stick, oh, it's a solid stick. Let's look at it first. This is really interesting. Yeah, it is a stick. So is this for like your body or your face? Let's put some on my hand. Oh, it doesn't have a white cast at all. Like, it doesn't even really smell like sunscreen. This is very interesting. This would be good, I guess, for like on the go and stuff like that. I don't know if it would melt, but anyways, $26. The solid stick glides on smooth and feels invisible. Appropriate for oily, dry, normal, and combination skin. So like every skin type. Formulated with non-nano minerals and the safest broad spectrum UVA and UVB protection. It says it has SPF 35 plus plus. Don't call it sunblock, it's solid block. Uh, vegan, non-toxic, cruelty free, and TSA friendly. I'll have to like, keep you guys updated. I'll figure out how to incorporate this into my routine. I don't really like using sticks directly on my face, but maybe I can like use this on my like chest or on my body. Um, it'd be nice to like have in the car, maybe like to put on my hands and my arms and stuff. Cause I am really good about wearing sunscreen on my face and my neck and my like ears every day, but I don't always put it all over my body. Uh, so maybe I'll use it that way. Next up we have something by Fig and Yarrow Apothecary. Their Eye Bright Coffee Bean Eye Cream. I honestly never get super excited about eye creams, mostly because I have a bunch. And also you can use your moisturizer as your eye cream. Uh, I do use eye cream separately, but you don't have to, just if you guys want to know. Uh, this is $36, wow. Ultra light organic hydrating cream formulated to renew, protect, and hydrate the delicate eye area. Potent antioxidants and cell nourishing botanicals aid in the minimization of superficial fine lines. And this is cruelty free. So yeah, I'll probably pass this on. I just have so many eye creams and um, I just don't need this. Um, I've never heard of Fig and Yarrow before though. And the last item is a facial oil. We received a, like full size, like a huge facial oil in the last box. I'll like talk about that first in the review. So 
I mean, I, even though the box came like a month and a half later, like who could finish a full oil in that time? Like even if you were sharing it with your whole family. Uh, but this is Moon Slice Beauty Moonshine Super Fruit Facial Oil for all skin types. 30 ounces. I do like facial oils, but yeah, we just got one literally in the last box. $25 Organic 18 Botanical Oil Blend that is totally pure which is the way your skin would have it, curated with nature's fruit basket with avocados, apples, watermelons, and everything in between to create a super fruit antioxidant potion that boosts radiance and balances complexion. So yeah, this does not excite me, like one, because the reason we just got oil. Like I've used this a lot and it's like full, like this is a huge oil. This oil we received last time, yeah, same size, 30 milliliters, but uh whatever um so that was everything um honestly it wasn't the most exciting box at all for me i feel like we got like you know repeat item is the last box the palette i'm sh it looks pretty i just have that um i feel like the palette we received last month might even have some similar shades in it we'll look in a second and eye cream i'm not excited about um what i am excited about is the sponge i might even throw this in a giveaway or something uh but if not i will get to it eventually and the sun's block stick. These, I think, are the only two items I will keep. So, yeah, I'm not too excited about this. Um, but I would love to know your thoughts down below. Do you think this is worth it? Uh, but now, let's quickly review last month's items. So I have the sheet here. Well, I say last month, but last box, let's say. So it was supposed to be in the March box, but we got it. it. Then they said it was in May, but we got it in June. Like, there were so many delays, you guys know. Or if you guys have been subscribed or following me, you know there's delays. We're delays. Uh, so the retail price of the last box was $140.50. And let's start with that, off with that oil. So this is the Shivani Marvel Elixir. So they call this both a primer and a beauty oil. I have used it mostly as an oil, like in my skincare routine. Um, I mostly used it like on my chest and my neck. It sounds crazy. I feel like I have a separate skincare routine for there compared to my face because I'm testing out so many products um, and it's worked fine. And yeah, uh, I use it as like the second to last step in my skincare and then I apply makeup and it goes on fine. So I'm sure you could use this as a primer if you would like. But yeah, so I've used it for like a month and a half. Not every day, but you know, consistently. And there just a few drops you need at a time. So how would I possibly need another oil? Oh. So yeah, they say this is $54. Like, I don't know if it's worth that, it, but it's fine, I'm using it. And then what I was the most excited about last month was the Glam Light palette. So I've always wanted to try Glam Light. I've heard such good things about their eyeshadow formula. And this is a Alondra Desi palette. But one of my shades came broken. Um, I did use this a handful of times after opening the box, but I haven't reached for it in a while. Uh, but yeah, see how it's kind of similar to the palette we got today? I mean, the one we got today isn't as pink. But there are still some like gold and yellowish colors. But yeah, I was happy to get this. Again, I haven't used it too often, but I rotate through my palettes all the time. And I generally use like what I got that month so I can review it and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, happy to get that. And then do I have any of the other items in front of me? I'm not sure if I do. Uh, we did get a micellar water. I have so much. I ordered like a huge thing in the FabFitFun like sale uh, a while ago or as an add-on and they accidentally sent me all of my add-ons again uh, and they said just like keep it, it was their mistake. So I'm good with my cellar water so I haven't opened this, can't speak on that, I apologize. And then we received a lipstick I have used a few times, it's by Emily Alexandra and it's a coral color. I usually end up mixing it with another lipstick. Sorry, I don't know where it is. I'm just gonna tell you about it. So yeah, I wouldn't wear the color really on its own. I don't like love it. It's like kind of orangey actually, but yeah, I mixed it with other lipsticks. I mix lipsticks kind of often, so um, I have used that. And then we received a hand sanitizer gel, which is very convenient and nice due to current times, but I don't really count that as one of the beauty items, you know? And then we got something by Double Dare, the Jet 2-in-1 Soothing Mask Kit. I have not used that. It's just like packet masks or like, I don't know. It seems like something you'd want to bring like when traveling. Um, so yeah, that was everything for last month. Really the palette and the lipstick are the most exciting. The oil is fine, I'm using it. Um, 
But yeah, you guys, the box just does not excite me anymore, and I'm considering canceling. Uh, so I'd love to know your thoughts, because uh, yeah, I paid for this box, and you know, money's tight these days, and I'm not getting like that joy. But I will continue to open it if you guys enjoy seeing this and you want to know what's in the box and get my review on it. Like I really don't mind if you guys enjoy this content and you want to see more of it. So please let me know down below. Uh, your thoughts and your opinions mean so much to me. So thank you in advance for that. And thank you for being here and unboxing this with me. Sorry if I was a little bit more negative. I always feel like I'm negative when I'm not like super excited because I'm so used to being so excited. Um, so yeah, I like when my boxes bring me joy. And this one, I mean, it doesn't make me feel bad, but it doesn't make me feel like thrilled, you know? Uh, so yeah, maybe I should cancel. Let me know because the deadline's probably approaching. Maybe I was even already billed for the next one before I got this. That's another thing. Uh, they're always kind of delayed, but everything's delayed this day. Like every box I've been talking to you guys, like all of your boxes you're waiting on even longer than me. So I hope you guys are starting to get your boxes for July since we're like fastly approaching August. Uh, but yeah, so that's it for today's video. Before we go, I just want to take a quick moment and say thank you to our channel members. You guys are great. I really appreciate your support so much. So thank you, Brooke, Jamie, L Trainer, and Deborah. Your support means so much to me. I greatly appreciate it. And I really look forward to our future members only live streams. Uh, and again, if you guys want to join, I would love that, but no pressure. I know times are hard right now. Uh, and that's it. Thank you guys. I hope you're all safe and healthy. I love you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.